Ladies and gents, boys and girls, hello. Right, I'm back spending more money. Um, I've bought today, or delivered to my door today, the dual pivot arm from Quadlock. I'm back buying Quadlock items. This, I suppose, is the uh, Quadlock equivalent, dare I say, to the RAM mount system. This particular arm is off my double take adventure mirrors and quite a strong, robust piece of kit. It's a big, strong knobbing on the end to tie it up against the balls. Come to that in a second. Equivalent, smaller, lighter, quad lock version. It's actually finished off a bit nicer uh, than the RAM stuff. It's quite a nice piece of kit, a bit more thought gone into it. There are some differences which we need to understand. Uh, of course, the clamping system here uh, accommodates a cable. So it helps tidy things away if you're going to be running um, a cable to your wireless charger or a straightforward cable to your device. So that is one nice feature to it. On this side here, you've got a Allen bolt for security. If you'd want, just leave it on your bike and keep it locked up and so people would need tools. Or you've got the option to run in the uh, thumb bolt, which will just replace that and it goes straight in there. I've done that on my bike. Now, the difference is this end here and that end, basically only compatible with the um, quad lock handlebar mounts or mounts that you can buy it for quad lock goods. It's not compatible with um, RAM. The ball is a different size. The ball on the quad lock is 20 millimeters as opposed to the 25 millimeter balls you find on my mirror, for example, there. The RAM um, mounting system is 25 mil on the general stuff. So basically that is the gubbins. I bought two, a short one and a long one. I've got the long one installed on my T7. This one may get used on Mrs. Rider Guider's XT250. So let's go and have a quick look at it on my T7 and I'll show you why I think I'm gonna like it. So here's my system on the bike itself. As you can see, I have used here the original mounting clamp, which used to have attached to it direct the uh, vibration dampener there it is now installed between the mount and the vibration dampener and my wireless charging head as you can see i've got the cable running down there down the back of the clamp and down to here now why do i like it and i wasn't sure at first it took me a few minutes until after i installed it to work out why i'd actually bought it and what the benefits were going to be but let me show you so let's look at it from an on-bike view. As you can see, I have my Garmin Zumo up there, my GPS, and that sort of all is in my eye line with my clocks, etc. Now, you can see from a rider's point of view, I've got the mount, I've got my wireless charger. What it's benefited, what it's allowed me to have now is a little bit of adjustability on the fly, just by undoing that nobbins so I can angle it if the sun's on it or I'm just wanting a different look, different angle. Um, or I want it out of the way, I want to tuck it out of the way. I can easily adjust it and get it out of the way of any day. If I'm off-roading, I don't want my phone here. I can either bang it away and put it in my pocket or I can just fold the, uh, the whole system away. It's easily removable um, without tools. And like I say, I like this adjustability. I can bring it closer towards me. I can have it there. I'll give you an angle like that. Or I can just fold it all away nicely without the use of tools. And depending on what mood I'm in, I like everything in a line. So, and I've struggled to get that with my setup in the past. And I'm gonna like that. I think it'll look pretty decent. I'll take a photo of it with the phone in the cradle on the actual charging head there and show you the whole view that I've got. And like you say, I think it's good. It's a solid piece of kit. 
I like the uh, micro adjustability and it's easy to adjust without tools now. I like it. Decent bit of kit and it was only what, 20? I think it was about 20, I think about 24 quid each. Oh, sorry, dollars. I forgot where I was then. About 24 dollars Australian. So not too bad. All right, crack on. See you again on another one.